asking yourself how you can uh, you can do such uh, slanting slanting walls especially when you've drawn your you're drawing a flat roof i'm going to take you through the easiest method to draw such walls using the morph tool so uh, i am going to i'm just going to use this model so i'll delete this delete that okay okay now i'll go to floor plan nope nope okay floor plan and then this is this is the side that you want to do our slanting roof this side our slanting wall this side and this side the waist elevation and this elevation for for for, for this example now i can either open east elevation or west elevation so let me do it using the uh, east elevation okay so i'm opening that elevation yeah so this is what we have uh, my lines are still there i'm going to delete them yeah so uh First of all, sorry, we are going to use the line tool to draw our uh, guideline. To draw our guideline, so um, I'm going to use 600. And then here I am going to use like uh, 300. Yes, 300 then connect the two then for this i'm going to use 500 then i'm going to use and, uh, 350 for example 350 Okay. Now you already have our out, uh, uh, outline. Now go to design, then scroll down to morph. Double click morph for settings. Then uh, how high do you want our our uh, morph? Uh, maybe to start from, and uh, that will be determined by the height of our of our of our wall so for example i'm going to measure from here to here 3000 so our morph will be 3000 millimeters from ground level yeah from ground level so project zero you type here 3000 so if there are other modifications we are going to look at them later 3000 and then you can just click OK. Then just draw, draw like that, like that, and close. See, see what we have. Then you can also draw here. Draw, draw, yes. Then we can we can s select the line. Uh, control A to select all the lines and delete because we no longer need them. Now select the morph. Then right click. Show selection in 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here they are. Here they are. I think they should be like this. Now select the morph again. Yeah. Then you see this black, that black black node. Click on it. Then uh, activate this tube because we want to give our morph. Uh, thickness you see 
want to give uh, more some thickness so you are going to give it thickness uh, equivalent to the thickness of our walls I think I used I think I used 150 millimeters press enter then press enter again now you see we we've given our our moth uh, some thickness so uh, we are going to view everything in 3d let us view everything in 3d okay so that what you're supposed to do you're supposed to so to drag this uh, this this walls to the desired location so I'm going to click here then drag okay I'm going to place exactly here yes now you see uh, this is what we are having you can select them and uh, modify them to your preference for example you can change the colors like i used uh, dark gray yeah or you can change them to to the color of your walls so, i don't know uh, let me just see that is stucco white wrap so you can select this one and give it stucco white wrap so that it can match the the color of your of your walls color of your walls stucco white wrap okay then okay now you see that's what we are having that's what we are having <laughs> 